what's going on guys it's your boy mr was and in today's video i'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the forestry update so forestry was first introduced back in december of last year as a woodcutting expansion this expansion aims to make woodcutting a more sociable skill with less competition new events and of course new items best of all you can take part in the forestry anywhere in runescape with the expansion, we'll be seeing changes to tree spawn mechanics, group cutting bonuses, along with new events and rewards from woodcutting. So let's start with the tree timers. With forestry expansion, trees will now despawn based on a timer that begins after the first chop of a tree. If all players stop cutting the tree before it's fully chopped, the timer will slowly start to regenerate. So the average despawn timers will be as follows. Oak trees will be 27 seconds, willow trees will be 30 seconds, teak trees will be 30 seconds, maple trees will be 1 minute, hollow trees will be 36 seconds, mahogany trees will be 1 minute, arctic pine trees will be 1 minute and 24 seconds, yew trees will be 1 minute and 54 seconds, magic trees will be 3 minutes and 54 seconds, and redwoods will be 4 minutes and 24 seconds. These timers will affect all trees in the game other than regular old trees in RuneScape, including those in Free to Play Worlds and the Woodcutting Guild. Next up, we have the Group Boost. Players will receive an invisible woodcutting boost when woodcutting with other players when they are at least two players at a single tree. Players will get a plus one to their woodcutting level, and this scales up based on how many people there are, up to a maximum of 10 players. So for example, if there are four players cutting one tree, all of these players will get a plus four woodcutting. According to the latest blog, they're looking to setting up some woodcutting worlds to help find others to get this bonus. So it's very handy if you are a lower woodcutting level just to get them extra invisible bonuses. Now one thing I do want to make clear that the boost will not work if you are cutting normal trees or standard trees or when you're in the woodcutting guild. And these invisible boosts will be stackable with invisible woodcutting bonuses as well. One of the things I really enjoy in this update are the events. Events can be spawned anytime you're woodcutting with the forester kit on you, as long as there's no other events happening within 10 tiles of your tree. So, first of all, we have rising roots. Roots will suddenly appear trying to protect their woody brethren, cut them down for some XP and animus bark but make sure to keep an eye out for the ones that glow with energy. Next we have Flowering Tree. For this event you must have a bee on a stick. Bees will appear alongside new flowers, though once you find the right two flowers to move pollen between them for XP, and you must bark, and some seeds or tasty treats. Next is Struggling Sapling. Help the poor sapling grow big and strong, Create the right combination of mulch to feed the baby tree before it withers away. Get some XP and animus bark in return. And finally, the leprechaun events. You'll need a leprechaun charm to make this event appear. This will spawn a friendly leprechaun who will be able to take your woodcutting resources straight to the bank for you, which is very nice. So next up, we're going to be talking about the forestry kits. So the forestry kit is a wearable item that lets you store new tools and materials on your woodcutting journey. In this pouch you love to store things such as leaves, animus bark and charms to spawn certain events. Now before we move on to the store, I'm going to go over a few of the other items that you can keep inside your forester kit. So first of all being the leprechaun charm as I mentioned earlier, in order to create the charm you will need 70 crafting, 70 woodcutting and 35 farming. Once you have these levels you can buy a clover insignia at the forestry shop and combine this with an emerald and a ball of wool to craft 10 leprechaun charms. For the bees on a stick you will need 50 hunter, 35 woodcutting and buy some powdered pollen at the forestry shop and combine it with a ball of wool, logs to be within close proximity of a beehive to craft 10 bees on a stick. Next is nature offerings. This can be created with 50 farming and 68 woodcutting. 
you must buy some ritual mulch at the forestry shop and combine it with one high tier herb to craft 40 nature offerings. Next is the forester's ration. This requires 35 wood cutting, 35 cooking and one pile of leaves of any type and a slice of cooked meat to create three rations. Next we have the secateur's attachment. This requires 35 smithing and 35 wood cutting. You can buy a secateur's blade from the forestry shop and combine it with an iron bar to craft 50 secateur attachments. All of these kit upgrades are tradable and stackable and can be bought and sold on the grand exchange or trade between players. So alongside these items there are actually more rewards that you can buy from the forestry shop. So we have the log basket which is a tradable, stackable item that can be used to store up to 28 logs of various types. It requires 5000 anima infused bark, 300 noted willow logs and 300 noted magic logs. The log brace is an upgrade to the forester's kit, combining it with the log basket to make a wearable version with the benefits of both items. This requires 3000 anima infused bark, 300 noted maple logs, 300 noted yew logs, 75 smithing, 75 wood cutting, 45 nails, 2 ropes and 3 adamant bars. Next is the lumberjack outfit. This can be bought from the forester's shop. It requires 5000 anima infused bark, 620 noted yew logs, 360 noted magic logs and 120 noted redwood logs. You can also buy each piece of the outfit individually or add a recolouring option. Next we have the clothes pouch. This can be crafted to allow players to benefit from the lumberjacks outfit bonuses whilst wearing their desired fashion scape. It requires 10,000 anima infused bark, 300 noted willow logs, 300 noted maple logs, 50 crafting, 50 wood cutting, thread and leather. Next is the funky shaped log. This is an item to recolour your beaver pet. It costs 15,000 anima infused bark and 500 noted logs of the following. Oak, willow, teak, maple, mahogany, arctic pine, yew, maple and redwood. Once bought, this item is a one time unlock and you will be able to change the colour of your beaver pet at any point. The two handed axes are the final item that is being added to the forestry shop. The shop will contain an exclusive axe handle which you can attach to the current handle of any axe up to the third level if you have it. The axes are said to chop the same speed as a one handed axe with the added benefits of gaining extra experience in exchange for getting fewer logs. The benefits using your run energy 40 points per swing and you will get 18 more XP for each successful hit on the tree with a 20% chance to not gain a log. And that is going to be it for the video guys. If you want me to do a full guide on this new update, please let me know in the comment section below as I want to try this out myself at some point anyway. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new for a chance to win an old school RuneScape Bond. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.